hello welcome back to my channel just further to my previous uh, video you can see there that the date there for discovery is May the 31st so you can see the whole schedule is lined up there so it actually says that the trial not to commence before October 2023 but discovery doesn't end until the 31st of May so there's no way that there'll be a motion to compel until June at some stage. So now let's get on to this hissy fit or this tanty that Katie Joy has had over the Midwest uh, outreach group. So here is an Instagram post that says, how I respond after a fundamentalist mansplains me in an email to me. Your tone and attitude is exactly what I fight against daily. Men acting demeaning, entitled and demanding of women. I am not a fundamentalist. I'm not a fan of the IBLP. So don't treat me like a missus, like a mouse of a woman by demanding I do anything. There are ways to talk to people and you are acting like a patriarch that can control me and you cannot. If you think that this is about likes or follows for me, you know nothing about me. Good day. I don't need an umbrella of your own help. Wow. So I'm just going to share here, which was attached to that, which is the article that shows that there was, it was, it's funny because this clip in itself shows that Katie Joy is in fact in the wrong because it talks about the fact that the photo was used without permission and it was used out of context. And the fact that they did not like the, um, the post that was made. She's also got here a definition of mansplaining, which again, I really don't, I'm not really a big fan of, but she's really taken offense to the fact that Lorn or Lorne Lani has that, you know, confronted her about that photo. And don't forget, he was the photographer. He knows the circumstances in which he took his photo. The issue is, is that the, the real story of the photo, which is what this article is about, does not suit her narrative. And so for her to have to retract the story or retract the narrative means she has to state that she's not necessarily told the truth. So let's keep going. Let's see what she posted next. So this is her post on, on uh, mansplaining. Covering fundamental patriarchal cults is always a joy, especially when I am mansplained by a patriarch who acts like somehow he has any authority over me. You don't get to talk to me like that, no sir. So it's a practice of a man explaining something to a woman in a way that shows he thinks he knows and understands more than she does. A patriarchal act that trains women in self-doubt and self-limitation just as it exercises men unsupported unconfidence. Now, actually, interestingly enough, he does know more about this than her because he actually took the photo. And who else better to know what the photo is? So now on to the... So now on to the next one, which is the uh, Ask Me Anything, any comment on the Midwest article that outed you. They didn't out me and could have contacted me. I got the photo from someone from Recovering Grace. It is not from their admin inbox. It's from my personal relationships with their admins and the victims of Gothard. These men only care to defend MacArthur, who is gross. Now, interestingly, again, Recovering Grace, the guy, the guy contacted Recovering Grace, and they denied that anybody would have given the photo to Katie Joyce. So don't know whether they're trying to cover themselves or what. Now, remember, um, he lists two, he shows her two posts, and she talks about two different ways that she gets the, the file. We're going to see very shortly that she's going to give us a third way that she got this file so again the slow is narrative now it's interesting that she's saying that these men only care to defend MacArthur who is gross I thought it was Gothard that was the problem here so she's really trying to shift the blame now as the article states 
MacArthur was there for one time because Joni Erickson Tata was actually the guest speaker and he was the pastor. That was the whole context of why he was there and it just happened to be that you got your photo taken. That was the context of the photo. Um, and just because you have a photo with somebody doesn't mean that you necessarily support them. Uh, but anyway, you know, particularly if they're famous or anything like that. But he was, and as was pointed out, he wasn't a famous pastor at that point. He was just a little pastor of a little church. Uh, all of that came along afterwards. Again, the context is really, really important. But we're going to see this tantrum get uh, really, really fired up now. So here's a story. It says, I'd like to say that Midwest Outreach is horrible to go after Rachel Dolenhander, the nerve of them to go after a woman that advocates for victims of religious abuse and a woman that took down Larry Nassar. These are men using their authority to go after women that expose abusers in religion and most still believe their BS patriarchy. These men never contacted me for a comment Insist, instead drew ridiculous assumptions, tempted to paint us all as liars and to prove that, uh, sorry, as liars, all to protect themselves and John MacArthur. Gross. And now we've got Instagram. Since Midwest Outreach is accusing me of lying about how I got this photo of Bill Gothard and John MacArthur. Here is the email. In November 2022, a person that sued Bill Gothard for sexual abuse and harassment emailed me a photo of John MacArthur at the Northwoods Conference Centre owned by the IBLP. The survivor was abused by Gothard. They reached out because they had rebounded to John MacArthur's church after leaving the ATI. They said after a few years at MacArthur's church, they left due to the legalism, which is very close to Goddard's teaching. I continue to speak to the survivors of Bill Gothard daily. They specifically asked me to show that Gothard and MacArthur were associated at one time, which is factual. The men at Midwest Outreach seem more concerned in protecting John MacArthur than listening to the criticism of MacArthur and the survivors of Gothard who ended up at his church and were left with deep scars from MacArthur. I was not contacted by Midwest for their article. Instead, they drew false assumptions and attacked multiple women that spoke out against MacArthur. Now that they have their ties, now that they have ties with Jeremy Volo, they certainly want to make sure they protect MacArthur too. They shared info about, about MacArthur's toxic leadership, his protection of men, and a long history of protecting a convicted child molester while shunning and disciplining the wife of the man who was a victim of abuse. Recovering Grace does not publish any new content, and their admins rarely respond to emails sent to their website. How do I know? Because multiple former admins follow me and interact in comments on this page. More than a year ago, one of the former admins provided me a huge Google Drive of IBLP web newsletters, videos, books, pamphlets, communications with Gothard and more. The information had been previously used by Recovering Grace. So that is the, <laughs> that is the long long uh, thing. So now we've got another narrative. We have another story. We now are saying it was a Google Drive before it was just early it was an admin. Now this is not about whether MacArthur or Gossard are good people or about their teachings. This is all about a photo. A photo that was taken a photo that was used to make a narrative, to make up a story. The owner of the photo clearly stated by Katie Joy's own admission that he had asked to take it down. I'm going to leave the link to the article again. Please have a read of it. It's very clear. This is about making something or making a photo tell a story to fit a narrative that you are trying to make, to make a point. She's trying to make the point that MacArthur and Gothard at one time, yes, they were 
together once, one time. But does meeting somebody one time and having the photo taken one time mean that you agree with each other? Does that mean that your opinions can't change of a person over time? Does it mean that one time you meet somebody and you're forever friends or you are then aligned? Look, I'm really interested in what you think. Have you read the article? Do you agree with what Katie Joy has said? Do you, or, I mean, are you buying the narrative that there is, that they're trying to protect these Gothard and MacArthur? Or do you, like me, and this is my opinion, believe that this is simply about a photo taken out of context and a story told that is not the actual story. So please hit subscribe um, and follow me if you'd like to keep getting contact from, content from me. I will be back live soon. And until then, I want to thank you for watching and bye for now.